Hi, and welcome to Community Hotline at Home. I'm your host, Monica Weitzel. You know, businesses large and small are having a tough time during the COVID-19 crisis, but there to advise, advocate, and support are the local chambers of commerce. And here today, I'm with the CEO of the Gresham Chamber of Commerce, Lynn Snodgrass. Lynn, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you, Monica, for this opportunity. It's great. Good. I'm, I'm really happy to have you here. You know, um, a lot, there are people that really don't understand what a Chamber of Commerce does. You want to just start there and sort of explain that to us briefly? I know you do a lot of things. I can do that briefly. Um, they may understand, but they have their own take of what a Chamber does, and it's helping business make money. Well, that is true, but really a Chamber of Commerce is intended to help the economic uh, environment for the entire region. And we do help our members. It's a membership-based organization, you join or not. But it's not just business. We have about 16%, 1-6% of our membership are nonprofits. We have utilities. We have individuals. Anybody that wants to have and be part of a successful, economic, really healthy community joins the Chamber of Commerce. Right. And, and the Gresham Chamber is one of the biggest, I would imagine, in the state, isn't it? And one of the most active? We well, I, I we're the best darn chamber in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> yes. um, that's what I say. Yes, you we do. We rank number eleven in terms of membership for the Portland metropolitan region. Um, but size isn't as important as activity. I mean, you could have a chamber of twenty people that do phenomenal things, or you could be a chamber of a thousand and nobody does anything. So it's all membership based. What the members want to have done to get the message out that we're ready for business. Right. So with this COVID-19 crisis, this has affected businesses greatly and nonprofits and individuals. So what has the chamber been doing lately to, to support um, all of those people? What, 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 have you, what have you done that's different than you've done in the past? Well, um, we advocate, educate, and collaborate for businesses to be the catalyst. And it turns out that being a catalyst right now is different than it was in February. So what the chamber has done is we try to direct our energies toward immediate needs, towards short-term needs, and then long-term needs. Um, the long-term is just as important as the short-term needs are too. Once we get through this tunnel, um, we see the light at the end of the tunnel coming up. Once we get through this tunnel, we still have to live and, and be prosperous afterwards too. So some of the immediate things that we did naturally was to uh, post all the restaurants that were still open and who's doing takeout, what their menus were. We did that for retail as well. We also did that for the auto automobile industry. Can you get your tires changed, oil changed, buy cars, those kinds of things. So we've had on, a, on an ongoing basis that kind of information to the consumers. But what I found um, was really important for our membership and others that would go to our website, where do I go to get information, how to do something I've never done before, never thought I would ever do, didn't want to do, but I need to save my employees. How do I fill out government paperwork? And I often describe it as you're standing in a line of 50 people and you wait, you wait, you wait, you finally get up to the front of the line and you find out you're in the wrong line. That's what government paperwork can feel like to, to a business that's been successful and never had to fill that government paperwork before. So we were an advocate to try to connect um, and guide people, encouraging them to go to their banks, what banks were available to them to fill out the paperwork and, and just be that, that constant resource for them not just on the phone, but on our website. So those are just two things that in this chaotic time were really important in the short-term basis. Right, and I, I think that's great to have somebody to kind of hold your hand and help you through those things because that can be very overwhelming. Uh, and people are emotionally tied to their businesses as well as you know yeah. just their community. Um, I, I know I was involved with your uh, Gresham AM meeting that you had last Friday, which yeah. was, was pretty impressive because people were just very excited to see one another. It was a yeah. Zoom platform, so um, it was just, it was really nice to see people caring about each other so much. Yeah, that's true. It was successful, but there's timing involved as well. If we would have tried to have done and continued our AMs right away in that chaos, it would have been a failure. And that's because people were worried about themselves. They were worried about how their employees were going to survive at home without a job. They, they were in a different they were in a different time of the chaos that they felt. 
So people are actually ready now to start communicating. They're more comfortable with where they are. Not that it's a good place necessarily, but they're more mm. comfortable with where they are and they're ready to start communicating and get out and be more transparent. So the timing was uh, really good. I have a lot of friends, uh, chamber execs, who started or continued their AMs throughout, and they were um, they were highly highly participated early on. But people got tired of listening to each other complain, and so they started <laughs> dropping off. And the numbers came down from 50 to 40 to 20 to 10 mm. to two. Same people over and over again. So we, our timing was based on what the needs were, and the needs are for our community and our membership. And they needed to be together, you could tell. They wanted to right. talk and they wanted to, to give kudos to each other for the hard work that they are all doing for each other. Yeah, it was pretty heartwarming. People were getting choked up. It was really nice yeah. to see. Uh, you know, Monica, I appreciate all had, the... Monica, I'm sorry. You had said something about holding hands. I would have to tell you that for some of our businesses, it wasn't a matter of holding hands. It was a matter of kicking them through the door, meaning encouraging them to do something. Because... When you're a business owner there's a, or a nonprofit, there's a lot of pride involved in being able to do things yourself and to rely on somebody else is hard. So in some cases, we had to really encourage people to go out and take advantage of some of the opportunities. So it wasn't holding hands. Sometimes it was dragging them through. <laughs> hey, whatever it takes, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. What else? Um, we're, we're just about out of time, Lynn. What else would you like us to know about the chamber and what you're doing for the community? Well, for the community specifically on a regional basis, our chamber is a visitor center and we need to we need to look at the whole region, not just our membership, in order to make our community healthy. So soon we're going to have a three or four week marketing campaign to get people back into Gresham to shop locally, to let some of those dollars and some of that energy loose on our streets right here. So we should be watching for that. I'm gonna be managing that campaign. I'm hoping it's gonna be celebrity based, we'll see. But we want those dollars, wherever those dollars are, we want them to stay right here, right as local as possible in this region. Because if we help each other here, we will be healthy for the long term. That's right. And if we have a healthy community, it just kind of spreads out and helps our state and so on and so on. So yep. yeah, sounds good to me. Well, thank you, Lynn, very much. I appreciate what you're doing, what you know, your wonderful staff at the Chamber is doing, and um, we'll look forward to hearing more from you. Thank you, Monica. Yeah, you bet. And thanks to our viewers for watching today. From all of us at Metro East Community Media, stay safe, stay healthy.